So as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be giving you tips on how you can grow your YouTube channel. Notice how I had the lack of the word easy in my title. Well, that's because it's not easy. It's about as hard as Tom Brady when he kisses his son, in all honesty. But seriously, seriously, all right? It is really hard to grow a channel. But that shouldn't discourage you because I didn't say it was impossible. To be honest, from what I've gathered from many other content creators, the biggest enemy and ally you're going to have is luck. So don't think you're going to grow overnight with these tips because that's not how things work. Take it from me, I expected that and I've lost motivation from content creating because of it. I'm at a lower subscriber count and view count because of it and you just need to just just trust me. I, I know a little bit of this now and I understand how I should direct my YouTube channel now. So with without further ado, let's start off with the first tip. So the first tip I can give you is to absolutely absolutely above anything else right now is do something that makes you happy it sounds really annoying because you want clout and you want to get you want to grow right now but believe me if you make content that you think other people like and you actually hate making yourself it's going to make video recording and editing all that much harder on you you know how many times I've jumped on a bandwagon and thought yo ninja was gonna have me appear on his stream after all the views and subs I was gonna get for this certain video and I was going to get 100 views in like a week and stuff. And I was going to be, you know, the next big thing. Of course, I was wrong for thinking that way. Because that's the type of videos I was trying to make. And it began to display with my consistency. And it began to reflect with what I was uploading. When I uploaded Halo videos all the time, for example, I uploaded regularly. Because I enjoyed it. But when I realized Halo isn't the way to get big on YouTube... I hopped out of it and that caused a chain reaction and it's it's happened up until you know like the beginning of this year and soon like after that I would go through these periods of times where I thought I wanted to record this and that and thought I could get big off of this type of content and that type of content but I was wrong about everything it's only until recently that I've realized I need to put everything I have into videos and content I actually care to create the next tip I can give you is to make sure you are consistent with uploading. Never skip a day because you want to be lazy or something. YouTube displays your videos off of an algorithm. The less you upload, the less likely they are to recommend a video to someone, which means the less likely, less likely you are to get someone to subscribe and watch your content regularly. The best way to stay consistent is to refer back to tip number one and to also create an upload schedule. If you create a regular schedule for your viewers, they'll know what to expect and they'll they'll they will learn what type of content you make regularly and know what day to come to look for it. I don't personally have a specific upload schedule. However, I do try my best to do 2 to 3 videos a week. However, that isn't a great thing for everyone. I would highly recommend you have an upload schedule if you're not super busy because it'll help you and your viewers out much more. The third tip I can give you is to make quality content. And this goes for everything from thumbnails, channel art, your videos themselves, everything. Even your titles need to have quality. For example, if you're not creating a meme with the way you word your title or your video, which title sounds more appealing? I just eliminated a good Fortnite player or I just destroyed Ninja in a 1v1. And of course you are going to not make it clickbait so if you do did fight ninja in a uh, in fortnite and beat him you're going to want to go with the second option which is i destroyed ninja in a 1v1 people are much more likely to click on a title like that than they would i just eliminated a good fortnite player you want the the title to jump out in front of people put quality time into thinking about it in all honesty and i, I know i just said this but it, it's gonna sound like a douchebag thing for me for uh for suggesting this you almost want your titles to sound like clickbait but you don't want them to actually be clickbait you want your th you want your thumbnails to resemble this as well would you want to click on a thumbnail that looks like this or would you want one that looks like this the one that is vibrant and shows off the title or the idea of the video is much better than clicking on a thumbnail that is very vague and could be called boring or uninteresting Alongside your thumbnail and title, you need the video itself to be good. Nobody wants to hear your echoing mic and watch a gameplay that looks like it was recorded on a Nokia phone. 
you're expected to have at least 720p of quality now at the very least I try to make majority of my videos 1080p I'll be straight up with you the only way you can make good reassuring content is by spending money on a capture card or some way to screen record on your PC most things have built in automatic 720p so if you use even the most basic recorders you should be fine like I said er earlier you also don't want a mic that sounds like you're blow drying your hair when you talk into it personally I use a normal USB headphone I record my audio with uh, with audacity you can get rid of 95% of your background noise with audacity and it's completely free it's free to download I have it linked in the description if you want to download it to record gameplays I use a Roxio HD capture card I got this for a cheaper price and I wouldn't really recommend buying it unless you have a really limited budget I'd recommend getting an Elgato capture card it records in better quality and it's what pretty much it's pretty much what every youtuber and streamer uses besides the Roxio HD and that's mainly for your your consoles and that's what you'll use for them as for PC I'm not a hundred percent sure what you would use for them I I still do believe they're called fraps I'm not a hundred percent sure you may want to look into that this is mainly for console players that want to get into the YouTube scene um, the Roxio is only like sixty to a hundred dollars depending on where you get it the Elgato is usually around a hundred and fifty um, hundred and fifty to two hundred dollars obviously it depends on where you get it but it's just like getting a stripper the less money you're willing to spend the less quality you're gonna get if you're really passionate about YouTube I honestly just tell you straight up get the Elgato if you can just consider it an investment rather than spending money because if you grow at a steady rate for a whole year once you get the first check from YouTube it'll be worth the money you spent and there's there's no way that you can definitely make sure you get your first check from YouTube in a year but you get what I'm saying and the final tip I can honestly give you is to not ever 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 give up it sounds cheesy as shit I know but trust me I've given up countless times on this channel and I've thought about selling all my recording equipment and everything but I regret it every time I decide to try and quit I'll end up getting motivated again and go at a decent pace and then I'll hit a wall and want to give up trust me boys and girls quitting is not what you want to do did Spongebob stop when when he couldn't find King Neptune's crown no he kept going did Naruto stop trying to become Hokage no did did Donald Trump stop trying to become a president because of a few setbacks you know he only had a small fraction of like a million dollars for an investment for his own business you know that's all he was ever given so sure you can have the thought of quitting in your mind but you don't want to quit that's my point stay motivated and continue pumping out great content and I, I know I'm kind of cringing at myself for the things that I just said but everyone can enjoy your content if you make some good content that you enjoy yourself you'll thank yourself in the long run when you make money off of gaming and showing off your personality YouTube is in fact for everybody don't just listen to people that say YouTube's not for everybody there is somebody out there that will search for your spe for specific things all the time there's always people that search for certain things some people could literally type in some lyrics to a song they can't remember and have your channel pop up and end up and end up subscribing YouTube is about luck content consistency quality and above all having fun but that's going to do it for my tips to grow your gaming channel in 2019. Like I said, don't come into this thinking you're going to kick the gaming industry's ass and you're going to take YouTube or Twitch by storm and you're going to be the next best content creator. You're not going to be recognized over overnight, in a week, probably not a month, and maybe not even a year. You'll slowly gain followers as you produce good quality content. It's just like anything else. You put in what you get out. With that being said, though, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and until next time, peace out, my dudes.